E minus 10 and count him. Every rose has its thorn. Every cowboy has a sad, sad song. And every rock star has his groupies. Groupies are great because they are like a free pass. It's like you've worked all day, and at the end of the week, the normal guy gets a paycheck. At the end of a rock day, you get a gaggle of groupies. As an ugly guy, what I love about rock stars is the idea that you were kind of like the weird misfit kid, but you pick up a guitar, and the second that happens, there's just girls throwing themselves at you. Rock music is the great equalizer. Women are attracted to powerful men. Powerful men with very bad hair. Music has gotten guys laid since before Mozart showed the world his magic flute. But it wasn't until the swinging 60s that bad boy rockers found their bad girl groupies, like Cynthia Plastercaster and Pamela DeBar, self-crowned queen of the groupies, who actually sang in a band called the GTOs. But she was better known for her offstage antics with rock gods. A groupie is a girl who loves to be with the guys who play the music who make her feel so darn good. Pamela DeBar was definitely was the ultimate groupie. There's a certain wide-eyed innocence to her. She wasn't like some kind of debauched, inhuman person. She just really liked sleeping with dudes in bands. Jimmy Page and I, I thought he was in love with me. I certainly was in love with him. Mick and I had a wonderful, fun, light-hearted relationship. I never fell in love with him or anything. We just had a lot of great sex and a lot of fun. I met Keith Moon on the set of 200 Motels. It was a movie Frank Zappa did and just had a wild time. I started seeing Jim Morrison when The Doors' first album was just about to come out when I saw him standing there with his leather pants on with no shirt and everything. One of those beautiful sights in the world. I just sort of walked into his house and did a backbend for him. One night I took mescaline, well, Jimmy kind of slipped me mescaline, and he was giving me hair, and I, would, I remember I could see these geysers going off and feel them through my entire being, and it, was, it tasted and felt like lime green sherbet. It was incredible. She was a pioneer in a way, because, you know, before Pamela DeBar came along, groupies were just groupies, and, you know, she was one of a select few who kind of made being a groupie into an art form. Right time, right place. Right look, I was cute.